All right, so good news, bad news on this question. The good news is you can get an answer. The bad news is it's not really a fun answer, but nonetheless, uh, you can get a numeric answer. So there's that. So I'll draw the segment here. B and E, one into the other. I'll put C and D on here somewhere sort of happy, you know, just sort of where haphazardly wherever I feel like it. Uh, and then I'll take the information that I'm given. So BC is 3x plus 47. So to go from here to here, you're dealing with 3x plus 47. On uh, a similar note, BD, which I'm actually going to change color to talk about, will take me from 27, or is 27 plus x. Uh, CE, which actually starts where this one ends and goes all the way to the end down here, which is why this works. X plus 27. And finally, the uh, DE, which is ends where this one stops and or starts when this one stops and ends at the end of the segment, is 10. Now, looking at the purple versus the green here, you should be able to see pretty easily that really the purple goes all the way from one end to the other. It goes from B all the way to E, and the green does as well. So what I could say here is potentially, I could say if I wanted to, that BC plus, or sorry, BD, not BC, sheesh, BD plus DE is equal to B. E, that'd be my bottom one here. Now I realize why I started with BC before. I could also say that BC plus CE is equal to BE. So really, they both start with B and end with E, so they go the same place, which means they're the same distance. Because I can say that this is true and this is true, I could also say that these two parts put together, or these two parts can be set equal to each other, put together. What does that have to do with anything? So I'm going to write that down. But that's where the idea comes from. Sometimes writing or drawing the picture makes a whole lot of difference. In fact, I would say that drawing the picture is the most important thing that you could do in terms of helping you visualize where you're going to go next, because that's kind of the point of it. Math is a visual medium. I mean, in, in of all, at the end of all things, it's really just a language that's universal. Unless you can't do math, I guess, and thus it's not universal. But in theory, it's universal. Anyway, so those are my two basic setups. And if I could erase this part, I'll have room to solve it. So what I'm going to do now is just solve equations. It's not super difficult to pull this one off. It does give you a really annoying answer. So if you don't like uh, fractions, then you're kind of in trouble here. So BC is 3x plus 47. And I'm going to add that to CE, which is x plus 27. On the other side of the old equal sign, BD is 27 plus x. And then DE's value is 10. So I'm just going to do a little combining like terms here. This is 1x. I tend to put anything with an x, so I'll put one line x squared gets two, that sort of thing. And then I just put a dot over the constant terms to remind me to combine them. There's a dot up here, you just can't see it. 3 plus 1 is 4x, plus 40, uh, 47 plus 27 gives you 74, and x plus 37, because I'm just combining 27 and the 10. Now, from here, I'll do a little subtract x. We'll end up with 3x plus 74 equals 37. I know I'm going to do subtract 74 here, which is going to give me negative 37. I'm going to divide by 3. So x is either equal to negative 12 and 1 third, or you might want to say negative 37 over 3. That's up to you. Now the idea that x is negative here is not necessarily the easiest thing to get going on in your head. Sometimes you think, well, segments can't be negative, so there's no way x can be negative. It absolutely can, because the smallest term that you're given with x in it is 
the x plus 27. Well, the 27 will pull it more positive than um, what you're dealing with. Can you check to, or more, yeah, it'll be more positive than negative, so you get an answer. Now, can you check the answers? Absolutely. If you plug this negative 37 over 3, or negative 12 and 1 third, in for this 4x plus 74, so you do 4 times negative 37 over 3 plus 74, you'll end up getting something like uh, 24 and 2 thirds, I think. Just doing calculations from previous times working through this problem to make sure the explanation I was giving made any sense. So you'll end up with like 24.6 or 74 thirds. On the other side, if you do the x plus 37, you'll end up getting basically the same thing. And if you think about it, 37 minus 12 is pretty much 37, uh, 36 minus 12, which is 36, so or uh, 24, I'm sorry. So you'll end up with negative 12 and 1 third. So that makes a lot of sense. Or you'll end up with 24 and 2 thirds. What am I thinking? Anyway, if you plug an x, this x value into this side and this side, they're equal. That's how you test them. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. So finally, the question that you asked or is asked of us is CE. What's its length? Well, we know that CE is x plus 27. So all I do is do negative 12 and 1 third plus 27. Or I could just do 27 minus 12 and 1 third, and I'll end up with a final answer of 14 and 2 thirds, or 14.6 repeating, or you know, however you want to go about doing it, that'll be your final answer right there. But like I said, not the simplest answer to get, not super difficult, but the concept is if you can draw the picture and find the parts that make the whole line, and there's two groups that make whole lines, set them equal to each other and solve them.